Hi guys, this is Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a journaling entry with you guys. And it's on a somewhat, um, well not somewhat, but definitely a serious topic. So um, just be aware. Today I will be journaling about teen depression and um, a phone call that I received from my son's school where he was upset over his grades and he talked about harming himself. So this is something I think for every parent you never want to go through. But if we're honest, we have no control over what happens. Um, and we have no control over how our kids feel or any of those things. So um, as most of you know, who have been a part of this particular channel, uh, I do journaling and it's usually on just real life stuff. So um, today is no different. I'll be journaling about my son. He's 14 years old and his name is Alex. So um, most of you probably know I'm a believer. So if you know the word of prayer, just keep him, pray keep him in your prayers. And um, we are seeking therapy and we're just... We're just taking it day by day. I don't think there is anything left to do. And you just want the best for your kids and you want them to be well. And that's both that's physically and mentally. So um, I wanted to journal about um, this hymn. And um, just journaling is also an outlet for me. It helps me to just feel better, get it out. Some may say um, this is a, a situation that they would probably not talk about. They would probably not tell anybody about. And that's one of the things that the therapist told us when we went to do his assessment, which is basically they call you in to determine where the child is and what the best next course of action is. Um, she shared with me that a lot of people, they keep it a secret and that doesn't always help the child um, you need as many people um, on your support team as you can get everybody you know just on the same page and just involved in helping and trying to offer support so um, I don't see it as anything to be embarrassed about um, that's what I believe, you know, she was sharing that most people are just embarrassed. It's, it's not a reflection of you. Depression is a real live thing and it doesn't just affect kids. It also affects adults. And we see in the news all the time about people who have lost their battle with depression. And um, they have inflicted harm on themselves and their lives were ended at their own hands because they weren't able to deal with whatever that was going on in their heads. And sometimes they have told family what's going on and there are times when they haven't. And it's just one of those things where if you have an opportunity to help somebody, you should. Don't see it as something to be embarrassed about. Talk to your kids, talk to your family and make yourself available as a support system for um, the people that you love so that they can know they have somebody they can talk to and um, go so far as to seek help, counseling, therapy or whatever so that they can get well and learn how to deal with their emotions and the thoughts that they're having. So I'm just journaling about that today and again for those of you who are believers and know the word of prayer, just keep my son in your prayers. And um, I'm just going to journal about it here. So um, I have a health and wellness magazine and I looked through it and I found some things that um, that would fit this particular entry. And so I cut those out and I'm just gluing them down here on my page. And... Um, I'll probably do a little bit of off-camera journaling, but right now I'm just putting the page together. I stamped out with my 
um, clear stamps, my alphabet stamps, Teen Depression, and I put the date. And so um, I didn't want to waste time doing that. But basically, those are just uh, clear acrylic stamps. And um, these little phrases that you see I'm putting down now, those are just phrases that I cut out of a, um, a wellness magazine. And um, I'm just looking forward to him being on a road to recovery. And specifically, it's just the stress of transitioning out of middle school into high school and him just having a feeling of inadequacy and not really knowing how to deal with that transition so again make sure you're talking to your kids um, don't just assume that they're okay I mean really have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with them and if they don't talk then you talk you initiate the conversation and make sure that they're doing okay so this I am going to use as a I have a picture here and this picture of him he's acting kind of silly on the picture and I chose this one because even though someone smiles and acts silly you really never know what they're going through so just because someone wears a smile that doesn't always mean everything is okay so um we still have to ask questions and have conversations and make sure you're making yourself available as much as you can. Um, at the end of the day, none of us are psychic. I mean, you, you're just making yourself available and you're hoping that your kids and your family members or anybody else that may be dealing with depression, that they're being honest and open in the process of your wanting to help and make yourself available to them. So um, I want to put this one down in the middle and I'm actually going to use it as a belly band and that's where I'm going to stick my journaling card. So I'm just going to glue it on the sides here with some Fabri-Tac. because Fabri-Tac is really good and it's strong and it holds things down really well. And this is a piece of wallpaper that I actually used for another project and I have, you know, pieces of it in my little scrap bin now. So of course I'm always trying to use things out of that scrap bin. It really never goes down. It's always full of paper. So as long as you're still doing projects, you're gonna always have scraps so I try to use them when I can in um, other projects especially in my journaling and so um, in this particular instance I'm using it as a belly band I'm going to use it to tuck a little journaling card underneath it and I'm going back into my scrap bin now and this is a little piece of uh, card stock that I have that was also left over from another project. And I'm just going to cut it down so that it can slide underneath this band. And um, yeah, it's too, it's too wide. So I'm just going to eyeball it. And my scissor cutting is not always straight. I usually have to use a paper trimmer or my long arm uh, cutter, something like that. So, um, and now I got to decide how long I want it. I don't want it to cover too much of my page. So let's see. Just cutting it down here. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. So, yeah, something like that. Um, where you can still see bits and pieces of the page. And um, a journaling card is just that. You can always remove it to see the, the page in its entirety. But this... Um, 
this card is just going to be what I'm going to write on. And I'm continuing to check my camera because my recording device is liable to cut off at any moment. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Sometimes as I'm trying to record, it won't even record. Like I'll press the record button and it won't even record. And sometimes in the middle of recording, it'll start recording all together. So that's why I'm always checking it. So you guys may hear me get louder and then back low. I'm moving up and down on my little uh, step ladder here to make sure that I am still recording. Now I'm looking for a little scrap piece. I usually have like some extra tabs that I have cut out that I haven't used and of course I can't find one when I'm looking for it but just I use my tab punch and I take little bits and pieces of cardstock paper that I have left over from different projects and I'll just cut out a tab and I may or may not use it at that moment but I save those and I use them later so that's what this is a little piece of uh, coffee dot cardstock and I'm going to take my tab punch here and punch out a tab and I'm going to adhere this tab onto my cardstock paper and I'm going to use it you know on my journaling card so I'm just rounding my corners Okay, uh-oh, rounding my corners here. And I'm just gonna distress my paper just a little bit. That's kind of dry. Usually I have enough ink left over on my little um, blending tool when I just want to take away that stark white. So I'm just going to go around the edges of my paper a little bit. But again, I appreciate you guys for watching my channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate your support. If you don't know, I have a second channel. It's linked below. So if you um, want to hear about Bible journaling, my faith, and things like that, please feel free to join me on that second channel. So this is what it's going to look like. Almost like a little, um, what do you call it? A... Um, file folder with the tab coming off of it. I'm just going to um, glue it onto probably in the middle because I'm thinking about here and here. I don't want it to cover either of those and I probably should have distressed my tab a little bit too, right? So distressed it a little bit and um, it's just going to kind of it's just going to kind of slide in there and the little tab I can pull it in and out um, my journaling in and out don't want to hide his face so something like that and I'm going to journal on it and that'll be it so again I appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye